This is a regular guitar pick. And so is this, 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 and this. This is a jazz pick, slightly smaller form factor and usually a bit pointier. These are what I've been using for as long as I can remember. And this is a Hufschmidt pick. Recently, I started speaking to a man by the name of Patrick Hufschmidt. You may know him under his brand name Hufschmidt Guitars, and he specializes in artisanal handmade guitars and plectrums. And since I expressed interest in A, making a video together in some capacity, and B, especially in his cool handmade plectrums, he dedicated hours of his time to make some of his coolest ones especially for me. A uh, quick disclaimer, this video isn't sponsored or anything, Patrick really only sent me these picks because I enjoy what he does and he enjoys what I do, and I will be giving these picks my honest rating at the end of this video, and nobody is telling me what to do. Uh, to think that in the first place would be kind of ridiculous, because at the end of the day these are just picks, albeit quite special ones, but still not much of a bribe. <laughs> so let's start with the Honeycomb Anvil Plectrum. Every aspect, every bit of this pick, except for the little logo sticker at the top, is handcrafted in-house by Patrick Hoofschmidt, and I really hope that I can do this beautiful 3D honeycomb effect inside it justice on camera. But this pick isn't just a piece of art, which it definitely also is, its existence also has a practical reason. This pick, clocking it at roughly 10mm, is the second thickest of the bunch I received, and while that might seem like a gimmick at first, it's surprisingly nice to use. <laughs> Because just like when you're walking around with your jaw clenched for no reason until you remind yourself to unclench it and then it hurts for a little while, you don't realize how tightly you're gripping onto a regular industry standard 1 to 1.3 millimeter pick until you switch to something that's as effortless to hold onto as this thing. If you don't believe in the effect of picks as comically thick as this one, think of a tattoo artist for a second instead of a guitar player. The grip of the tattoo gun is very thick, and that's not for no reason, it's because if the tattoo gun had the grip area of a number 2 pencil, it would allow for much less accuracy against a surface that gives way to pressure, such as human skin, or in this case guitar strings. Another benefit for somebody who isn't me personally, but that doesn't mean that there's no demographic for it, is if you say, suffer from arthritis, and that makes it difficult to grip onto a tiny thin pick as tightly as you would have to. With this thing, you'll actually have something in your hand. Moving swiftly on to the Aluminium Core Honeycomb Plectrum. This one is probably the most similar to the Honeycomb Anvil visually as well as in thickness, except this one has three equal sides, unlike the Anvil, meaning that once one of the tips starts to dull down, you flip it around and you've got two to go. This one is cool for guitar as well, but I've actually found myself using it a lot for bass. the Bacon Plectrum. This one isn't just the thickest and pointiest of the bunch, but the way it's made to look so convincingly like bacon is actually quite interesting. The way Patrick does this is by printing images of real bacon onto canvas, cutting it out and submerging it into this really durable resin, and to create the illusion of pork fat, he intentionally leaves gaps between the individual sheets of canvas. But it doesn't just look fun, it also shreds. The glow in the dark picks. I've sort of lumped these two together because not only do they have the same basic shape, but they also have the same visual gimmick, which is that, surprise, they glow in the dark. <laughs> this one is a bit thicker and consists of a variety of differently colored glow in the dark flakes encased in this durable resin, while this one is just a solid chunk of a proprietary material that Patrick has dubbed Hoof Glow. <laughs>
Personally, I much prefer the thicker one with the color flakes in it, not just because it looks way more impressive in the dark, which it does, but also because that extra thickness really adds a lot for me, but that's a very subjective thing. And last, but most certainly not least, the picks you actually clicked on this video for. The Torlon 5530 and 4203 Plectrums. The Torlon series is Patrick's absolute flagship Plectrum selling for 100 euro a piece, and while that might seem excessive at first for a guitar pick, A, go look up the material prices of the different grades of Torlon that these two are made of, and B, factor in the nearly three hours that it takes Patrick to hand make one of these picks in Switzerland. The material cost alone for a single Torlon 4203 pick is roughly 40 euro, but also if you manage not to lose it, which for some reason seems like a challenge for some guitar players, this pick could probably last you decades, because that is precisely the appeal of Torlon. And so these picks come with a challenge, and that is the challenge to try and wear them down over time just through playing. I will now read you an excerpt of a note that Patrick sent to me along with this masterpiece of pick craftsmanship. I am delighted to send forth from the depths of my humble workshop nestled in the heart of Switzerland, a creation forged in the fires of inspiration, a toll on 4203 plectrum. The crafting of this plectrum is no mere trifle, requiring a time span of approximately 2.5 hours. With every moment, I pour my heart into perfecting its bevels, ensuring a finish as polished as the armor of a Gondorian knight. To provide an unwavering grip, I have brushed both the summit and abyss of this pick, as if to tame the very scales of a dragon. Yet the heart of this challenge lies ahead. I summon you to take up this Tolon 4203 Plectrum and test its metal, much as Frodo bore the One Ring to Mount Doom. Tolon possesses unparalleled resistance, akin to the endurance of the One Ring. How long shall it withstand the fervor of your guitar playing as we embark upon this fellowship of sound? So, two things. A, I think somebody likes Lord of the Rings, and B, I think he's pretty confident that I won't be able to wear this pick down while playing. And you know what? I've had all of these picks for weeks now, I've sunk hours into each one of them, and they all show some degree of wear and tear from me using them, except the tall on ones. Not a scratch. And I've got to tell you, honestly, the attack and power behind these tall on plectrums is unparalleled. While for certain kinds of lead playing, I'd probably prefer to go with the honeycomb anvil, these things overall are my favorite. <laughs> Matter of fact, here's all of the picks that Patrick sent to me sorted in order from my favorite to least favorite. Now, that doesn't mean per se that I don't like the ones on the far right of this plectrum spectrum, if you will. Uh, but just through playing nothing but all of these different Hoofschmied picks for weeks, it became clear quite quickly which ones I liked the best just out of, you know, how much time I was spending with each one. But this thin green hoof glow one, for instance, is probably the best for applications like strumming on an acoustic guitar, which I don't do, mainly because I don't have an acoustic, but if I did, I very much would not use a 10 millimeter chunk of aluminium reinforced resin for it. So now that I've sufficiently yapped about these plectrums, if you want to check out any of Patrick's picks for yourself, there's a link in the description. Big thanks to Patrick for sending them out, he really didn't have to, but I'm very very glad he did, because these are pretty much all I use now. And big thanks to you for watching, my latest video should be somewhere around here, subscribe button to my right. Thank you, I'll see you around, leave a comment, hit the bell, like the video, goodbye.